Today, I'm going to be reading from my book called Planets Around the Sun. Here's the printed copy, but because of the fact that space science changes so rapidly, I make changes in a digital copy. So here's the digital copy. It's newly updated, and it's the same book, and it's available online. Planets Around the Sun, newly updated. We live on a planet called Earth. Earth is one of eight planets that travel around the sun. The sun and everything around it are called the solar system. You may have remembered that there were nine planets, but Pluto, the outermost planet, is now called a dwarf planet. Here's the sun, and the sun is a giant ball of fiery hot gases. If Earth were the size of a basketball, the sun would be as big as a basketball court. Mercury is closest to the sun. During the day, its temperature is almost 800 degrees Fahrenheit, but at night, the temperature drops down to nearly 300 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. Venus is about the same size as Earth, but it's very different. Thick clouds cover the planet, but it has no water. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. Here's a familiar planet, the planet Earth. Earth is a planet that has water covering much of its surface. Of its surface. If Earth were closer to the sun, the oceans would boil away. If it were farther away, the oceans would freeze. Familiar, Earth's moon. Earth's moon is not a planet. Planets travel around the sun. Moons travel around the planets. Even though Earth's moon is 250,000 miles away, it is our closest neighbor in space. Here's a planet that we've been to, and the planet is called Mars. The surface of Mars is a red, dusty soil. Spacecraft from Earth have landed on Mars. So far, we have found traces of water, but no signs of life. Here's a planet that looks familiar. It's a planet called Jupiter. And Jupiter is much larger than all of the other planets combined. The surface of Jupiter is an ocean of liquid hydrogen 10,000 miles deep. The great red spot is a giant storm on Jupiter. The storm, just the storm itself, is larger than the planet Earth. Saturn, a very familiar planet to all of us, is the second largest planet. Saturn has rings made of pieces of ice, rock, and dust. Some pieces are smaller than a penny. Others are as big as a house. Uranus is the third largest planet. Its very thin rings are made of an unknown black material. Uranus has five large moons and at least 22 smaller ones. Neptune 
is a blue-green giant with giant storms on its surface. Freezing winds blow across Neptune at speeds of up to 700 miles an hour. Pluto was once called the ninth planet. Scientists now call it a dwarf planet. It is too small to clear smaller objects from its path. It is smaller than any of the planets and seven of their moons. Pluto is very cold and part of the icy outer solar system. That's not all that's in the solar system. Asteroids are chunks of rock. They are much smaller than planets. About 4,000 asteroids circle the sun between Mars and Jupiter. The area is called the asteroid belt. Far out in space, other planets circle other stars. Now we are always looking for distant Earth-like planets. We still have much to learn about planets and stars. And at the end of the book is a chart showing the planets, their distance from the sun, how long they take to travel around the sun, called their orbit, their diameter, the length of their day, their average temperature, how many moons we've discovered, and whether they have rings or not. So if you're interested in this, take a look at the book online. Thank you.